welcome to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers and welcome newcomers. I hope you like the channel. I hope you become part of this family with us by subscribing, of course, hitting that subscription button. It's free. And of course, if you like the videos to hit that thumbs up, it's extremely important. If you do subscribe, please hit the notification bell to be notified of the new uploads that I come up with, which is every week. So for the most part, I use a 2.75 hook, sometimes three, 3.5, depending upon the project I'm working on. A pair of scissors, of course, and a small one to tuck in loose ends. My threads are Portugal threads. They're four ply, 100% cotton thread. These are Portugal brands. My colors, they go by number, except for the uh, white or the off-white. They actually have the, the name white, but all of the mixed colors on any of them that I have, it's by numbers, which I get requested a lot about these threads, and people ask me if I sell them. I wasn't selling any um just basically using them for crochet but because sometimes the demand is so high I said okay I will I will do it uh, they're $12 a ball they're 100 grams uh, it's in between 300 to 325 yards um, similar to Aunt Lydia, uh, Lydia number three cotton mine's a little bit thinner and of course so my projects are a little bit smaller um, if you're interested, mi uh, minimum of order is six balls because the shipping is horrendous. Okay, so they're $12 if you're interested. You can always email me or uh, everything is listed on the description box below. I have Instagram, TikTok. I have a, a private crochet group if you would like to join and you have a profile, then you're more than welcome to request. I also have a crochet page that you can follow. You can message me through there also. And um, please feel free to request anything that you would like to see. And for the ones I already have, thank you for the requests. I think I've done quite a bit for you guys. Um, so we are going to get started and uh, thank you again for for such a blessing and being part of this journey with me uh, the only way i can survive and keep going on is by having the channel to grow sharing is caring so please share and thank you so much for the people that have been sharing there's quite a bit of you a bit of few of yous that have been sharing uh, quite a lot and also um, if you want to help out the women in need of thread that cannot afford then you can help by donating either thread yourself and you can contact me and I'll give you their address or you can donate whatever amount you would like um, either through uh, the little bag below that says thanks on, below the video um, that belongs to YouTube of course and they take 30% off of whatever you offer or my PayPal account will be in the description box you can donate through there um, also and I want to thank every single one of you that have donated or tipped me um, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart God bless you okay so let's get started everyone thank you okay everyone so as you know a few days ago I had launched a mat for the toilet um, floor for a small little mat which I'm creating the bathroom set and this is what I had launched but I'm going to do the cover now for the toilet lid seat okay and I'll be adding, I thought I wasn't going to add any flower on here, but I am. I've created a flat flower so we don't uh, get our feet stuck on it. And this is going to be glued on with hot gun glue. So we're going to get started. I'm using this deep red. It's a four ply, 100% cotton thread, similar to Aunt Lydia number three. And Lydia number three is a little bit thicker. I'll be using a 2.75 hook you can use 3 3.5 obviously 
And I prefer Aunt Lydia for these type of things, rugs or tablecloths, because they become bigger automatically. A small hook to tuck in loose ends. I will also be using the gray. And uh, please give a thumbs up on the video. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Sharing is caring. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. So we're going to get started. Thank you, everyone. So the first thing we're going to do is that slip stitch knot. That never counts as a stitch. And I'm going to do 48 chain stitch. 48 chain stitch. This is for the cover seat of the toilet bowl, okay? I've done my 48 chain stitch. I'm going to come back on my sixth, not counting from the hook. One, two, three, four, five on my sixth one. Make sure you grab both loops because it will curve if you don't. One, two, three, four, five. And on my sixth, I'm doing a double crochet. We're going to build groups of three double crochet, a one per stitch, two chain space, and skip one, two, coming on the third. We're going to do this all the way to the end, create these groups of three double crochet. Two chain, skip one, two, come on your third stitch, okay, and continue from there on. Now, I know that's, you know, quite a few of you on the group say, oh my God, it's too beautiful to be using in the bathroom. People, we need to enjoy things of life while we are here in this planet earth we bring nothing with us let's enjoy it once it's ruined or once it's you could always create another beautiful one different color it doesn't matter it also makes perfect gifts so enjoy the good things in this life we bring nothing with us so let's create these beautiful pieces and put it to use okay, everyone so i've done all my little groups i have one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine groups of three double crochet. I'm going to do chain four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to continue to create my groups of three double crochet inside of this two chain space. Two chain again into the next one until the end and then I'll meet you at the end okay so I've reached the end almost at the end I should say and I have that four chain we did to turn remember I'm going to do two chain coming directly in this four chain and doing double crochet one chain one double crochet one chain one double crochet, one chain, one double crochet. We're going to have a total of six double crochet inside of this corner. Two, four, five, and six. Separated by one chain. Two chain. We're continuing to create those three double crochet groups. Two chain space into the next two chain space with three double crochet. Okay, so six inside of the corner, two chain, and then the groups. I'll meet you at the end. So we're almost at the end. Two chain. We are going to do one double crochet here only. I'm going to try to hide my thread here and I'm going to do one, two, three chain going up. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to come inside of the space and create my group. One, two chain and again 
create your groups. We're going to do a total of four uh, groups here. So we have two so far. One, two, chain, and again. On my fifth group, we're doing four double crochets. We have this is a heart set, so we need to start the foundation for the heart. So we have one, two, three, four. On the fifth, we're doing four double crochets. Okay, and then you start your three double crochet groups again until the round edge and I'll meet you there. So we're reaching the end. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight groups. On this last one here, we're not doing group because we have to start the oval corner. I'm coming on my third double crochet after doing my two chain and doing one two chain again. I'm coming on that first double crochet at the corner where we did the six. With double crochet we're going to start to increase two double crochet in the same stitch, chain two into the next one, two double crochet in the same stitch. We're going to do that to all of them and remembering what we do in one side, we must do on the other. So I'm going to have my six groups, two chain space with two double crochet each. I'm on my last double crochet. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six groups of two, two chain. So we're repeating the same thing as we did here with one double crochet two chain and continue to create your three double crochet groups inside of the two chain space. Two chain and again we're going to do that all the way to the end. I'll meet you at the end. Okay so remembering that we had done four double crochets on this side we need to do four on this side. We'll have a heart on this side and a heart on the other. So I have one, two, three groups on my fourth group, four double crochets, chain two, and continue on with your three double crochets. I'll meet you at the end. Coming into the end, we're going to do two double crochets inside of the space and one on top of the chain. So I've done my two inside of the space and one on top. One, two, three, four, chain. Turn around. Coming directly into this uh, two chain space and create your three double crochets. So where we have the three double crochets, it's going to stay that way until we meet the heart foundation. We have to start increasing to form the heart. Two chain and your three double crochets. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So we have the four double crochets. I'm going to do two double crochets inside of this space only and one per stitch. We'll have a total of eight double crochets here on the foundation of the heart. And two inside of the next space. We'll be doing the same thing on this side. So now we just continue with the uh, groups. And we'll also be increasing at the edge here. But I'll meet you there at the corner. 
okay? So we're getting here in that one double crochet. I'm going to do two inside and one on top of the double crochet. We'll be having a row of group, one double crochet, group, one double crochet, two chain. Now my first double crochet, I'm doing one double crochet. On my second, these are the groups at the edge, the corner, the round corner. I'm doing two double crochet in the same space. So we're increasing one, two, and three. And let's consider this row one because we have one double crochet, row two, and row three. So you don't have to get confused. Chain two, and again, continue one double crochet, and on your second one, two double crochet. So this is row three. I'm not counting the middle one here, okay? I'm counting from one, two, we have two double crochet and three. This way you won't get mistaken or confused. Chain two and continue one. We're going to repeat the same thing that we did here on this side. So then I'll meet you at the end, okay? Remembering when you come here on that one double crochet, you must repeat the same thing. One on top of the double crochet and two inside of the space to create your group. And then continue on again with your groups until you meet the heart. And then you'll have to do two inside, one per stitch, and two inside. And you'll have your total of eight exactly how we did here. Okay, everyone, so I've reached the end. We're going into row four. One, two, and three chain coming inside and creating my group, chain two, and creating my three double crochet groups again until I come into the foundation of the heart. So we'll have two inside, one per stitch, and two inside, okay? So I'm at the foundation of the heart. Chain two, and I'm going to do two double crochets, one per stitch. So we'll be having 12 double crochets now. And we'll do the same thing on the other side of the pattern. Remembering at the corner, we must do our increase on the last double crochet on the edge, the round edge. So two inside, one per stitch, that's the eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And continue on with your group. Chain two, continue with your group here. Now remembering what I said, one row will have group, one row double crochet, one row group. So we know that this row here is one double crochet only. Chain two, and then continue with the increase on the last double crochet. Two, three, and one more on the same stitch, four. So you know automatically you are on row four, okay? And repeat the same thing on this side. So we've reached the end. We're going to do two double crochets inside of the chain. And I'm going on my second chain here because I don't want it to be uh, like a big double crochet, even though I did three chain, okay? So, well, actually we did four chain. So this is what it looks like. So you're gonna turn around. We're going to do one, two, three, four chain coming inside create your double crochet groups until we meet here so again two double crochet one per stitch and two double crochet we're going to have 16 double crochets we're going to continue to do the groups two inside of the space and one on top so we'll have our group here and of course the increase so just continue to do your increases on the hearts and then I'll meet you here at the edge.
Okay. Okay, so I've done my row, um, done, not done, but have started my row 15, um, row five, sorry, 15. I don't know where I'm going with that, but anyway. So my fourth chain did my three group, uh, my three double crochet group, two chain, three double crochet, two chain, two, total of 16, two, two chain and the group, and of course, two inside and one on top. We'll repeat the same thing on the other side. So we're doing one per stitch, and on my very last one, we're doing two together. So this row five, you're supposed to have five double crochets here at the edge on the round. Two, four, five, chain two, and proceed again the same way. And what we just finished doing on this side you must do on the other side. I'll meet you at the end. So finish my row, turn around, chain three, do your group, chain two, next space of the two chain, do your group, chain two into where we have our pineapple foundation so we start with four eight twelve sixteen now we're going to do twenty double crochet so two inside of the space one per stitch and the other side will be the same okay so we'll have twenty two inside of here to chain create your group and here we'll have only one double crochet to chain and then the increase. So we'll have six double crochets at the corner, but I'll meet you there just before the edge. Okay, so I've done my row six. We have two groups at the beginning, two inside of the space, one per stitch and two at the end. So we have 20 double crochets. Two chain, the group, two chain and one double crochet because one group, one one double crochet, one group, one double crochet, one group, one double, and that's how it goes. You increase at the end as usual, and then you continue on the same way. We're going to repeat exactly the same thing on the other side. So very simple. Okay, and I will meet you at the end. Okay, everyone going into row seven. So I've done my four chains, turned around, and create the groups again. Now, where we have the pineapple, we're still going to continue to increase. So we're going to end up with 24 double crochets. Okay, it's going to change on the next row only. And we're going to repeat doing the same thing as we've been doing the increase two here, one per stitch, and then two here. And then two inside, one on top, and the increase on the motive here on the round. Two together on the last one. So we'll have seven double crochets. So two double crochet only. And then one per stitch. We'll be doing the same thing on the other side. Row eight will change a bit. Okay, so I'll meet you at the edge. So we're doing two inside. We're almost at the round corner and one on top. So I have 24 double crochets to chain and then continue the increase on the last double crochet. Two, four, six, seven. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so I finished my row going into row eight. I've done my three chains doing my group. 
No. So we're going to do only one double crochet here. Two chain. I'm coming on top of the double crochet from the heart where we have the 24 and we're going to do 24 double crochets again. We're almost closing in the heart. We're, we're preparing to close the heart in, I should say. We're going to start to decrease after this so we can shape that heart. So we continue to do the 24 double crochets. I'll meet you right after. Okay, everyone, so chain two. Come on top of the first double crochet with double crochet. Chain one and on top of the next one. So we're only doing one chain here, okay? Chain two and then proceed your round corner the same way with the increase two on the last double crochet. And we're going to repeat the same thing we've done here on this side also. And I'll meet you at the end. Okay. Okay, everyone. So I started row nine. I've turned around, did my four chains, did my group. Two inside, one on top of the double crochet. Two chain. I'm coming again on top of the double crochet from the 24. I'm going to do 11 double crochets. So I've done the 11 double crochets. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm going to do two chain, skip two space, come in the third, and do my 11 double crochets again. So I've done my 11 double crochets, two chain. I'm coming on top of that double crochet with double crochet, one in the center and one on top. So I've created my group of three double crochets again, two chain and the edge round stays the same with the increase. So one double crochet per stitch and two at the end. Okay, and then your two chain space and continue on with your increases. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. We're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. Okay, everyone, so I finished my row nine going into row ten. It's going to be a little bit different. So I've closed in my last double crochet. I'm going to come in and do a single. And I'm going to do one, two, three, chain. Coming into that space and doing my three double crochets. We're going to create groups along this flat edge all the way until about here. You should have eight groups of three double crochet creating inside of these spaces. Two chain space between them. So this is my second group. We need a total of eight, and then I'll come back to you after I finish doing my eight. So once you finish row nine, close in, single, three chain, and start your groups. Okay, everyone. So I've created my eight groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to do three chain. Coming in the corner here and doing a single. One chain, coming back in, another single. Three chain, one, two, three. Coming in that space, creating my group of three double crochet. Okay, so we've closed here with the eight groups, three chain. 
into the corner with a single, one chain, one more single, three chain, and we are on the sides, as you can see, of the heart, and three double crochet. I'm going to do two chain. I'm going to skip these two and come in the third double crochet with double crochet. I'm going to create seven double crochets here. That means you don't do the first two double crochet and you don't do the last two double crochet. We don't work on them. So we skip two and we don't work the last two. Two, four, six, seven. Chain two into the center of the heart with a group of three double crochet. Two chain. Skip the first to second, come into the third, and do your seven double crochets again, exactly how we did here. I've done my seven double crochets. Two chain, come in the center here, the two chain with the group. Two chain, and we're doing one double crochet. So we're back into that uh, system where we did one double crochet group, one double crochet group, one double crochet group. Okay, two chain, and we're still increasing on the round edge. Doing two double crochets on the last double crochet. So we should have 10 double crochets. This is row 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Your two chain. So nothing has changed here. Everything stays the same. And then continue on again to create your 10 double crochets. Increase two at the end. You're going to do that. And what we did here, we must repeat here. I'll meet you here just at the edge. And you guys, so I'm almost at the end. I've done my group, two chain. After I've done my two chain, I'm coming in. This is the um, corner, basically, with a single, one chain. And I'm coming in with a slip stitch on my second single. Okay. I'm going to come in the first stitch here just to come into that space with a slip stitch and then back in single two chain and I'm going to create three double crochets again we are at the other edge of the pattern chain two coming in creating again my group okay Chain two, we're creating these little blocks again. We're going to create it until I get here to this corner. Okay. So we're getting there to that edge. Still, we're doing the two chain and we're doing the group here, just where we have that single, the, that three chain we did. Okay. So we created a group. I'm going to do two chain. Where we did that one chain between the singles, I'm going to create another group of three double crochet. Chain two, right inside of this three chain space again, I'm going to create another group of three double crochet. So on this corner, of course, we'll be doing the same thing here. So make sure you do that group on that one chain where we have the singles chain two i'm coming in where the um two changes before the heart foundation group two chain i'm skipping these two and i'm doing three double crochets 
because we don't do the first two, we don't do the last two to chain and continue to do your groups. So this row is all about doing groups. We'll repeat the same thing on the other side. Again, two chain, create your group, skip two, do your three double crochet, two chain, skip two, and then continue and do your group, two inside of here, and one on top, but I'll meet you there just to make sure, okay? So I'm just getting into that one double crochet, so I'm going to do two inside. one on top, two, skip two, and not skip two, what am I talking about? Two. So we're doing the increase again in the edge corner, two double crochets at the end. We're still increasing. Coming to the last one, two double crochet in the same stitch, two chain and continue on. So we're going to repeat exactly what we just did on this row on this side. Don't forget we're still doing the increase and we'll repeat everything on the other side. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay you guys, so we're pretty much reaching the end here just before the singles chain two coming where we have that one chain space be in between the singles the two singles and create your dub your group of double crochets your three double crochets two chain and i'm closing in on my very last one so now we have both corners the same way three groups here three groups here and so on okay So now we're going into row 12, I believe, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, yes, row 12. So we've closed in with slip stitch. This whole row will be all about little blocks of three again, groups of three double crochet. So I've closed in with slip stitch, uh, not sl uh, slip stitch on the third double crochet. Uh, chain we started with single two chain i'm going to come back in the same place and do a single and chain two this is my first double crochet and two more uh, chain for space so i'm coming in and i'm doing <coughs> my groups of three double crochet two chain we're going to do this all the way around um, the only difference is, is where we have, you know, the rows group and then one double crochet and then group and then one double crochet. So basically we're doing two chain space all the way inside of the spaces here, including the corner. Continue with two chain space. Only when we get here, just before the motive, we're doing one double crochet. So we're creating our group, two chain, and one double crochet. We're still doing the increase, but I'll meet you here. Okay, you guys, so pretty much did my, my groups. Two chain and just one double crochet. Okay, and we always have one row group, one double crochet two chain and continue to do your increase two on the last double crochet. Okay everyone so I'm reaching the end where we started that single and the four chains. So I did two chain. I'm coming inside of the space and creating two more double crochet. So I have the single and two chains. I'm going to come on my second chain and close in with slip stitch. Okay, now I'm going to cut my thread. If you want to leave your thread on, go ahead. I prefer to cut it so it doesn't become in my way. I'm going to use the gray on the next row and then come back with the red. But sometimes I do leave the thread on and then just jump from one row to the other. But I'm 
I'm not up to it doing it this time. I prefer to cut it and then work the gray and then come back and work the red. So I'm just going through a few uh, stitches here so I can secure my thread because I'll be working on these spaces. This row is only going to be double crochets. Where we have double crochets, we're doing double crochet. Where we have the two chains, we're doing two chains. Okay. So I'm going to do slip stitch knot. And where we left off, so I'm going to come right inside of my two chains and create single and two chain for double crochet. Another double crochet in the same space and then one per stitch. Two inside of my two chain space and one per stitch. This is how this row is going to be all the way around. And then I'm cutting my thread again and I'm going to come in with my red. When we get to the round edge, normally we do the increase two on the last double crochet but we're not doing increase on this row because we're already doing two double crochets inside of the chain space, okay? So I'll meet you there just to make sure you don't get confused. So I'm just doing my round. As you can see, I'm only doing one double crochet and two inside of the chain spaces, okay? So one per stitch, no increase. We already have it here. And I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished doing my row. I'm back with the red, and I'm going to um, start where we had... So we had done the single and the two chain. I'm coming on the next double crochet still inside of this chain space there. I'm going to do my single, okay, where we had started with the other row. Try to hide my thread as I go. Single, two chain. That's my first double crochet. Next space, double crochet. I'm going to do a total of seven double crochets. I have four, five, six, and seven. One, two, three chain. I'm going to skip one, two, three, and I'm coming in my fourth and doing my seven double crochets. So I'm going to continue to do this until I form four groups of seven double crochet, uh, not four groups of seven, until I form four loops, okay? Um, do the groups, and then this is my first loop, so I have two, four, six, one more. And then one, two, three, so this is my second loop, one, two, three on my fourth. And then I continue to do my seven double crochets again. I'll come back to you once I have four loops done. Okay, so I've done my four, one, two, three, four. Continue to do your seven double crochets after you do your fourth loop. Okay, so one, two, three, and four. I'm still going to do my three chain, and I'm only going to skip two coming into the third. I'm going to do this twice. So doing my seven double crochets. I'll show you once I'm done to make sure that you understood.
So here's my seven double crochet. So I've done four loops of three chain, my seven double crochet. We skipped three, went into the fourth. This time we skipped after my fourth, we skip two and into the third. So I have my first and my second loop, skipping only two space, one, two, and into the third. And then create your seven double crochets. Why are we doing this? We're doing this because we are at the edge corner here. So obviously we'll be doing the same thing on this corner, okay? So do your seven, so we have four loops skipped three space into the fourth and two loops skipped two space into the third. Okay, so I've done my seven. Here we skip two space into the third with two loops. I'm coming back and do one, two, three, skipping one, two, three, and four doing the seven double crochet. So now this time we're gonna do four loops again, uh, skipping three, going into the fourth uh, double crochet. So two, four, six, and seven. So I have created my first loop. One, two, three, skip again. One, two, three, into the fourth. We're going to have four loops, skipping three double crochet, going into the fourth. And then I'll come back to you again because we'll be at the edge of the round um, corner, okay? So once we have four of these loops, skipping three space going into the fourth, which should end up over here on the second motive, then I'll come back to you again because it's going to change up because we are in the corner, okay? Okay, everyone. So I have my four loops skipping three space one two three and four did my seven i'm still going to do my three chain and i'm skipping one two coming into the third we are on the corner so we must um, decrease on the um, skipping right so we're going to do the seven but this time we're going to create seven loops skipping only two space going into the third okay seven loops that's counting um the first one here obviously so i have two four six seven one two three chain skipping one two into the third so i have my second loop already we're going to have a total of seven. Once I finish those seven loops and my seven double crochets, I'll come back to you again because we need to repeat exactly the same thing as we did here on this side here. Okay, everyone. So after counting all of the... So here we have the three into the fourth. Here we skip the two, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops. And then we go back to the normal uh, three chain also and skip one, two, three into the fourth. Okay. And do your seven double crochets. Two, four, six, seven, one, two, three, skip, oops, skip one, two, three into the fourth, and have your four loops again, skipping three into the fourth. So I'm almost at the end. I already have my four loops here of skipping three and into the fourth, three into the fourth. So I have one, two, three, four. We're gonna do one more, two, three. I'm gonna skip again, one, two, three, and into the fourth. Skip one, two, three, 
So we have five loops skipped into the fourth. Okay. Five, six, and seven. One, two, three. So one, two, three, we're right on the fourth. So that means you'll have six loops and close in with slip stitch. So from here, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, six loops uh, closing in into the fourth space on this side. Okay, so pretty much done. I'm going to come in. I'm going to skip this first double crochet, and I'm going to come in that second one with a slip stitch coming back in and doing single two chain. So on all of them, we're not working the first double crochet and we're not working the last. We're doing double crochet over double crochet. You're supposed to have a total of five double crochets. Chain one. On my second chain from the three we did here, I'm going to do groups of three double crochet. This is going to be the same way all the way around. So we're starting foundation of the heart right here. One chain, skip the first double crochet and into the second with double crochet. So we'll have a total of five double crochets. We're going to repeat this all the way around the same way. One, two, three, four, five. One chain. Again, skip the first chain into the second and create your uh, three double crochet group. And then one chain. Skip the first, going to the second. It's just a repeat now, and it's going to look like that. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I've closed in my row with a slip stitch. I'm going to walk to the other um, double crochet, single, coming back in, not single, slip stitch, coming back in with single, two chain. That's my first double crochet. I'm going to have a group of three double crochet here now. We are decreasing, so we don't work the first, we don't work the last. One chain. I'm coming in the first double crochet from the three uh, double crochet group with two double crochet. Three double crochet in the center in the middle one. We should have a total of seven. So two, three in the center, and two more. Two four, six, seven, one chain, skipping the first, going into the second, creating my three double crochets. So basically we're going to do this all the way around the same way. One chain, two double crochet on the first one and three on the middle double crochet from the group. Two on the last one. Total of seven, and then skip the first one, create three double crochet, exactly how we did here, one chain space between them. I'll meet you at the end. It's all the same way, all the way around. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished my row. I'm going to do the walk, as I call it, with a slip stitch through the chain here until we get to this first double crochet in the group single two chain. I'm coming back in and doing another double crochet. Next stitch, one double crochet alone. Next stitch, two together in the same stitch. We're going to have a total of 11 double crochets. So two double crochet on the first, one alone, two together, one alone, two together, one alone. And on the last one, two double crochet in the same stitch. 
a total of 11 double crochets. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm going to go directly into the next heart. No chain space. So, 1, 2. Next one, 1 alone. Next space, 2 together. Next one, one alone, next space, two together. It's going to be repeatedly like this all the way around the same way until the end of the row. So we're skipping automatically from one heart to the next because these are going to be hearts, okay? So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished my row. I've closed in with slip stitch. I'm going to come back in in that same space that I've closed in with a single, okay? I'm going to skip one, two. On my third one, I'm going to do five double crochets, two, three, four, five, all on the same stitch. I'm going to skip one, two on my third one. I'm going to do a single. Again, skip one, two on my third one, five double crochet. So we're pretty much forming that heart already. Three, four, and five. I'm coming in between the hearts with a single. We're going to do this all the way around the same way. Skip one, two on the third one. Five double crochets. Two, three, four, and five. All in the same stitch. Skip one, two into the third one, single. Skip one, two, into the third one, five double crochets again. Okay, we're going to repeat this row the same way all the way around, and then I'll meet you at the end. Two, four, five, into the center between hearts with a single. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished all... My row, the hearts closed in. I've cut my thread. I'm going to use the green now, and we're going to work on the inside. We're going to build a net in order to hook it on the lid. And of course, we're going to build it at halfway. So we know the half is where it starts those four double crochets up, okay, where it is the round part. So you got to make sure that you're on the right side of the pattern. Okay, so I've turned my pattern to the wrong side, okay? The right side we know is where we finished with the last row of the hearts, and I've turned it, okay? So basically, we need to line it up exactly where the center is. The center is where we have those four double crochets from the heart, okay? Like that. And what are we going to do? We're going to work on the... Um, let me just pull this down a bit. So we're going to work on these five double crochets here, or actually on this uh, um, stitch here of the double crochet. So if you place it properly straight, this is we're going to work from here on. Okay. So I'm I'm going to do my inside web with the gray. Okay. So stitch, uh, slip stitch knot. I'm going to come in where we have those five double crochets here, okay, right, like that. Bend your, your, your pattern if you have to. I'm going to do a single, maybe, okay, so doing a single, and then I'm going to do a half, all in the same stitch, half double crochet and a double crochet, okay? All in that same stitch of the uh, chain here on the five that we did, 
okay? Another thing is while you're measuring, if you want, you can put a marker to make sure that this is where you're going to stop working, which is on the fifth double crochet here on this side. So we know that we have to stop working on here as we started to work on here. Or actually, it's on the other side. Okay, so you can put a marker because that's where we're going to stop working. So once we've done that, we're going to do 15 chain stitch, two, three, four, actually 30 chain stitch because we're going to be going back and forth on it like a web. Okay, so 30 chain stitch. So as you can see, I have 30, but this is going to come like that okay it's going to turn so we're going to work it's going to be like that I don't want to lose my so we're going to work on the next heart the next five uh, where we have the five double crochets okay we're going to build three double crochets there okay so we're going to come in on the next heart and do three double crochets. So one, two, and three. And do 30 chain stitch again. Okay. I've done my 30. Again, I'm going to work on the next heart where I have the five double uh, crochets here. Okay. So again, I'm going to do three double crochets on that chain again okay and then do 30 we're going to do this this way all the way until where i have the marker that's half of your pattern and then i'll come back to you once i am done okay okay you guys so i'm at the end so i was right the first time i put the marker on so i'm going to skip that heart that one there and coming on to the next one so this is where I'm supposed to stop and not where I put the marker I put it right the first time so now I'm going to cut my thread like that so I had put the marker on there but we in reality we are skipping that first chain here because we're hooking on here skip one and going into the next one right and I've done it wrong it has to be on the bottom well that wasn't too smart was it, it has to be the bottom one not the top okay so now that I fixed it so now I'm just gonna tuck in the leftover string here that we did. So I'll show you again so you don't get confused because I know sometimes I can be a little bit confusing. I confuse my own self people so like don't stress over it. Nothing we cannot handle, right? Okay, so I'm going to take this marker out of here so it does not confuse you guys. So pretty much this is what it looks like, okay? Let's see a little bit of thread here. Yes, this is when I ran out of thread, I had to add thread. Okay, so that makes more sense. So basically you're skipping this, this chain here and you're going into the next, okay? Skipping one into the next. This is where we have the five double crochets here. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, tw
12, 13, 13 loops of 30 chain. But you know, you guys, your threads are probably bigger with the Aunt Lydia number three. So it doesn't mean my count is exactly like yours. Okay, might be, might not be, don't stress over it. So now we're just going to create that piece here so we can tie the net together into the lid. Okay, so I'm going to turn my piece this way because we'll be working on here. So again, slip stitch knot. And I'm going to make uh, a chain of 35 chain stitch. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, 35 chain stitch. I've done my chain of 35 chain stitch. I think I'm going to do five more. So I'll go to 40. One, two, three, four, and five. So I have 40 chain stitch. If you want to leave it at 35, go ahead. It depends how big your lid is also, you know. Okay, so I'm going to come on that first loop. And I'm going to work right on the center of that first loop to double crochet, chain two into the next loop. We're going to be doing two double crochets for each um, loop here, okay? With two chain, next loop. We're going to do this all the way to the very last one. And then obviously we'll have to create the 40 chain stitch at the end also. So that's to tie the lid into what we need to tie it into. Now it's going to look funny at first, obviously, because, you know, it's, it's a lot of uh, stretching here with the, you know, but once we finish, we'll get it all together. So continue until your very last one. Okay, everyone. So I've done my last one. I'm going to do my 40 chain stitch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, until 40. Okay, you guys. So I've done my 40. And before I cut it, I want to make sure that this is going to fit into my toilet uh, cover uh, seat, right? So what you do is you go or you take your toilet cover out and, you know, put it on there, tie it up, see if it works. If it doesn't, then you can do more chain stitch either on the zigzag we did here or you can do more chain stitch for the knot if you want uh, to tie it because we're going to tie it up. So I'm going to go and measure mine just to make sure that it's all good because this is more or less the same size um, where it's going where it's going to this is an order okay so I'm going to check it by mine and hopefully I am good to go remembering that when you tie it it's going to become all nice and straight like that but you need this flat at the cover okay and at the same time I will already take some pictures and you can see how it looks like at the on the cover lid so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please give a thumbs up i will be making um the little round oval rug either for the tub or for in front of the sink uh for the bathroom of course because this is the bathroom set and i will be putting some uh we'll be gluing uh, those little flowers on of course you already know this is for the foot of the toilet and uh We'll be adding these flowers at the edge. Um, not too many, just maybe one or two like that and have it pretty looking. Okay, so thank you so much and I will see you in the next tutorial. God bless everybody. Take care.